Today we'll show you how to arrange a beat in Ableton Live. I have a beat pulled up here. It's just four bars of a beat right there. Pretty basic, nothing special here. And what I'm gonna do right now is arrange it. What I want to do is duplicate it a few times. Two hours later. In the first eight bars I'm going to delete the eight weights and the kicks. And in the first four bars I'm going to delete the hi-hats and the snares as well. So this is how it sounds right now. This is basically the intro and right now what I want to do is click on this button here which basically turns the automation on and you want to set the automation on every single channel to mixer and track volume so right now we can automate the track volume what I want to do with the snares and the hi-hats here is basically automate them so first they're at minus 20 decibels approximately and then they go up to like minus five minus six decibels this is just how i do this every single producer does it differently this is my method of arranging a drill beat you can change it up you can do it completely differently What I'm thinking right now is making the hi-hats and the snares in the main part not as loud, maybe minus 2 decibels. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna delete the snares from here. These are basically the 4 bars where the hi-hats come in and the snares come in in the drop. Now we're gonna make the drop itself. I'm gonna take out this bar right here and I'm gonna find like a filler for this part. This is the filler I like and I'm gonna automate it as well. Mixer and track volume as usual. So what I'm gonna do right now is take this part down a bit. Right now I'm going to arrange the rest of the beat. How a beat usually goes, you have hooks and you have verses. The hooks are usually a bit more energetic. What I'm gonna do for this first hook, leave the 808 in. And for the verse I'm gonna just take it out, like that. For the second hook I'm just gonna duplicate this part which is basically the same as the first one. And then I'm gonna copy the verse and copy the hook. You can make all these verses, hooks and so on sound different. So for example, in the first one, I may take out this guitar. But for the second one, I'm gonna leave it in. That's a basic arrangement and right now at the end here you can see there is nothing happening so what I'm gonna do is just copy this part here, duplicate it, take away the kick and data weights and now what I'm gonna do is basically automate all these tracks to go down and what you also want to do is to move the automation of the snares and the hi-hats so basically they end before the melody ends then it sounds a bit better in every single beat I have a different ending, so sometimes I also bring the hick in or the to weight in, but right now I'm just gonna keep it simple. And the arrangement is ready, so that's how the beat sounds.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel.